Welcome to Etched Images. My name is Stu McFarland and I'm the president and co-founder. The purpose of this short video is to illustrate the craftsmanship of our talented artisans. We know how important each and every detail is to you. Our primary goal is to execute your vision, creating a distinct look that just might turn your customers into collectors. We will strive to deliver outstanding work combined with friendly customer service to complete your orders on time and exceed your expectations. Please enjoy. Here's Darla assisting a customer with a bill of lading. We're a bonded warehouse, so it's important for us to collect all of the necessary information for the TTB. That's the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. The TTB requires us to report whether the wine has been taxed, the alcohol level, and the gallons received. We pride ourselves on our friendly, efficient service. This is Lori Eckert, our Vice President of Operations, reviewing artwork placement with Sandra, our digital artist. This is one of many critical steps in the production process. Look closely and you'll see our mascot Bentley sitting on Lori's lap. From drafting your quotation, preparing the detailed work order, artwork approval, supervision of production, to the final invoicing, Lori oversees your order every step of the way. Here is Sandra working on label art. The black and white part of the artwork is what gets etched or sandblasted into the wine bottle. Etched Images is known for its unequal craftsmanship and really fine detail. Of course, that all begins with the artwork setup. This is our dark room where we produce sandblasting stencils from a light sensitive product called Photo Resist. We carefully match the printed black and white label art to the piece of Photo Resist material that will ultimately become a sandblast stencil. Here we are exposing the black and white label art and the Photo Resist material to ultraviolet light. Now we wash out the UV exposed piece of resist. We have to be very careful not to wash it, the stencil too much or it will become mushy and unusable. Now we carefully blot the stencil and then put it in the dryer. After drying, each and every stencil is examined for any imperfections that would ruin the wine bottle. Any tiny imperfections are marked and later covered with small pieces of tape. Here we are spraying an adhesive on the stencil so that it will stick to the wine bottle. 
This is just one more critical step that has to be done just right. Now a key step in the process, perfectly applying the stencil to the carefully clean wine bottle, paying attention to the measurements located on the work order. Whether we etch one bottle or thousands, this process remains the same. Here we burnish the stencil so that there aren't any bubbles or creases that could create a ruined bottle. Then the clear carrier is removed and a wire brush is run over the stencil to perforate the membrane and release any trapped air. Now we apply a protective clear vinyl film and tape to protect the bottle from any sandblast overspray. We work with many full bottles of wine and there's no room for error. Here's Carlos, our production manager at work sandblasting. Sandblasting, or etching, is the process of delivering a fine stream of abrasive sand under high pressure inside a blast cabinet. We sandblast one bottle at a time. This is a slow and tedious process requiring a lot of patience and care. Some bottles with complex artwork can take up to 20 minutes per bottle to sandblast. Carlos has finished etching this bottle and is blowing the sand residue off so that the paint will stick properly to the etched areas. Here's Isabel carefully spray painting the first coat of paint. You'll notice that parts of the stencil have been taped off so that that part of the sandblasted area isn't painted. That part will be painted a different color at a future stage. Here is Rosalva hand painting the top of the letters or what we call capping. A steady hand and attention to detail is required here. This gives you a glimpse of a few of the workstations for each highly skilled artisan. Here is a demonstration of color filling by Lupe. The paint is brushed into the sandblasted recesses of the glass and then carefully scraped off with a razor blade. The paint remains in the etched part of the bottle. Lupe has to be very careful. It's easy to scratch the glass. Here is Alma, very carefully cleaning the stencil off of a fully painted bottle with a razor blade. Again, super care is required here to avoid scratching the glass or ruining the paint job. Here is Evelia, our wax dipping specialist. Here she cl carefully cleans off the wax dipped cork reservoir and then dips the bottleneck into the 380 degree no chip dip dipping wax. 
After twirling the bottle to get the desired look, Evelia dips the bottle into cool water to get a brilliant shine. We have 19 colors available, including some beautiful metallics. Evelia dips thousands of bottles each year, and her work shows it. Here is Carlos rolling full bottles of wine back into our 60 degree refrigerated storage area. You can rest assured knowing that your wine is protected while it's in our care no matter what time of year. The bottles you see on the upper shelf are samples that we will use for repeat orders so that we get every detail just right including matching the color of the paint. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. For more information about etched images, please visit us at etchedimages.com. Thanks very much.